We now have Professor Bola Akinterewa, uh, former DJ, Nigerian Institute of International Affairs, uh, joining us on the Primetime News. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Prof. Thank, Thank you, you for having me. Thank, Thank you very you. much. The pleasure is ours. Thank you for joining us on our Primetime mm -hmm. News. Now, uh, it's really uh, worrisome uh, what the developments have been between Russia and Ukraine. Uh, let, let me just let, let's have your let, let's have your feelings about this. Well, on the one hand, we will say it's most unfortunate. Hmm. On the other hand, it is expected. Unfortunate because of casualties, loss of lives, destruction of property, and at the end of the day, laying a foundation for a war that we don't know what the beginning looks like, but the outcome that we cannot predict. So it's unfortunate, but it is expected because long notice has been given. Russia has indicated by amassing troops, you know, uh, along the frontiers, borders with Ukraine, particularly from the eastern plant and also from the borders of uh, Belarus. So in this case, everybody knows quite well hmm. that there is a war in the making. So in this case, the preparation for it to have told uh, those who are trying to take sanctionary measures to evaluate, to consider the extent to which sanctions can prevent an imminent war. Prof, Prof, uh, with, the, with the long notice, one would have thought Ukraine would have taken certain measures. Clearly, uh, the Article 5 couldn't be invoked because Ukraine hasn't joined NATO. We understand that. But what could Ukraine have done to prevent this? I think it was Professor Alabao Gunsawo who came up with the idea of not trying to be a friend of uh, one and being the enemy of the other. Ukraine should understand that the country is a neighbor, contiguous neighbor, all right, of Russia. And then also a neighbor to many countries in the Western world. In this case, since uh, the Ukrainian government does understand what constitutes an anger, why Russia is uh, much aggrieved about uh, NATO, what the Ukrainians who have done should be to simply provide an antidote, not to do anything that would aggravate. It is true that Ukraine is yet to effectively, you know, accede to the NATO agreement. But the bitter truth is that contrary to the agreement reached by the U.S. government mm -hmm. uh, with uh, Gorbachev, with Russia, yeah. you discover that the agreement was that NATO's influence will not extend to member states, you know, of uh, you know the countries that emerged following the restructuring and openness of um, the former Soviet Union, that is, following the glasnost and perestroika. By this time, the, the Westerners did not follow this agreement anymore. Please, the Poland, uh, Estonia, uh, Lithuania, were invited um, to join NATO in 1997. And eventually, 
they joined in 1999 by so doing extending the influence of NATO. Yeah. So Russia was agreed. So in this case, Russia is now saying, if we did that one before, why wouldn't I, Russia, expect that we do the same thing with Ukraine? <laughs> Russia is equally guilty. There is no doubt about that. Mm. Afterwards, uh, the Budapest um, Agreement of uh, 1994 uh, provides, guarantees territorial integrity of Ukraine. That's right. But uh, in 2014, Russia is also on record to have uh, annexed, yeah. to have carved out Crimea, uh, Crimea away from uh, Ukraine. So, you see, on both sides, you can discover that the two of them, the two sides, are culpable. <laughs> now trying to to use ukraine okay. ukraine shouldn't allow itself to be dis, uh, to be destroyed okay prof now uh, what on the last note um it's a good thing that russia is now open to uh, more negotiations with Ukraine. I mean, okay, uh, Vladimir Putin is saying, all right, we're ready now to, to have peace talks with you. But one would wonder, why come in this late? Why uh, kill as many people as they could in a day uh, before coming back to the negotiation table? Many people, individuals, not to talk about sovereign states, they have eyes that refuse to see. They have ears that refuse to hear. That is the reason. Uh, in this case, uh, Ukrainians were capitalizing on outside help. Hmm. They were waiting for NATO countries to give them help. Whereas NATO countries only want to provide means of fighting. They are not prepared to, to give you troops, one. Secondly, they expect you to fight for yourselves. They are only interested in promoting democracy hmm. at all costs. But the environmental conditioning of promotion of uh, democracy in Ukraine, uh, they, are, they are not there. So Russia is decided all right, to fight to the last drop of any Russian blood hmm. to ensure that NATO does not come closer, you know, to its uh, border. Okay. Simply because okay. Ukraine, Ukraine, you know, has a nuclear capability and capacity. Thank you. Thank and you, Prof. And in this case, uh, all right. Thank you, Professor Bola uh, Well, we, we appreciate clear. we appreciate you for joining us. We cannot exhaust that tonight. We we hope that when we call you again, sometime soon, uh, you'll be available for us again. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.